automatically revert to the previous configuration in FortiGate Firewall. So in this session, we are going to see how we can configure FortiGate Firewall to roll back the configuration, right? Um, this feature is really very, very important if uh, you are configuring FortiGate Firewall from remote location, remote site, and accidentally you have done something wrong. For example, if you have changed IP address of the firewall to the wrong interface, right? Accidentally, maybe uh, you have changed WAN IP address or you have configured wrong IP to the WAN port, right? That means you have lost connectivity to the firewall or maybe you have pushed wrong policy, okay? Because in FortiGate firewall, uh, whenever we make any change, from graphical user interface mode, config changes automatically saved in FortiGate Firewall. So FortiGate Firewall is configured by default to save config change automatically. So even if we uh, look at the global system configuration, if we run the command config system global, and then uh, show full configuration, and I'm going to show you, so we find there like a command set CFZ means config save automatic. Even in CLI also, when we type end command, config is automatically saved, right? So how we can uh, you know, like uh, find out some solution to this problem? Right, because if there is no engineer available to the remote site, remote location, then literally like accessing firewall again after changing IP, maybe routing or some other network related configuration would be impossible, right? So I'm going to show you practically how we can configure FortiGate firewall to like roll back the configuration, okay? So basically what I will do I will change default config safe mode, in fact, from automatic to revert, right? So first command, I will run set config safe, and instead of automatic, I will run the command revert, and then the next command will be setting out timeout value. For example, if I set 10, uh, maybe uh, minutes or five minutes, whatever, right? So what happens if config change is not saved within the timeout period, right? So after giving a CLI warning message, just uh, like uh, before uh, 10 seconds of reboot, device is automatically rebooted and reverted to the previous configuration. Let me let me show you quickly, right? Config system global global configuration mode. And if I run the command show full configuration, so difficult to find out. So what we can do, we can use grip command to filter out output. And if you look at the output here. So set CFG save automatic, right? And that's the reason configuration is automatically saved in FortiGate firewall, okay? So can we change? Yes, set CFG save revert, right? And the next command is set CFG revert timeout and timeout is in second. So if I type here 120 seconds, 120 seconds means two minute, right? One second, because default setting is automatic. So in this mode, any changes applied after an end will be saved from the CLI and graphical mode automatically saved. But if it is set to revert, and additional parameter, a global parameter is defined like timeout value that is 120 second here, set CFG revert 
time out. So once this is applied, any new changes must be saved manually with the command. Which command? With the command execute. Sorry, let me change. Oops. Okay. Execute CFZ save config save. So execute config save is the command like uh, to save configuration manually, right? So once like uh, set CFG save revert and set CFG revert timeout is 120 second over 120 second. It's just for the lab demonstration purpose in production network at least uh, time should be at least 10 minutes, right? Ten minutes. So once like uh, it's applied, then configuration must be saved within a timeout period. Otherwise, what will happen? Forty gate will reboot, and a warning CLI message will be displayed here. Uh, ten seconds before the reboot, uh, system will reboot if no input is received in the last ten seconds. So ten seconds is the warning message, right? That is still, if you have the time, if you want to save, then save. Otherwise, FortiGet firewall is going to restart, reboot. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change maybe uh, IP address of port one, just for the lab demonstration purpose. And timeout value, I'm not set here. And I'm going to set it to 60 seconds only, one minute, right? In production network, definitely you should uh, configure at least 10 second time. And uh, I'm going to configure wrong IP address maybe to the interface, right? 122.1.2.3 and let us assume uh, you have access firewall with the same IP address, right? And IP is not routable over the internet, right? So just wait for 10 seconds, head down, okay. There are unsafe changes and not 10, uh, uh, like one minute, right? One minute is the time. And you can see here, there are unsaved changes, 49 seconds. Wait here. I'm not going to save configuration manually, right? Because if automatic config save is disabled, that means configuration need to be saved manually with the command is cute CFG save, execute CFG save and see here, FortiGate is about reverted, postponed by one minute, right? It's still like giving option to save the configuration, reboot or save, 16 seconds more. And just before 10 seconds, we should see like a warning message and look at this, system will reload in the next 10 seconds. If no input is entered, device will reboot automatically. So this way, uh, uh, like, once like device is rebooted, means configuration file is reverted back, right, to the original, means roll back, okay? And still you can access your firewall. So very good feature in FortiGate firewall and mainly if you are not connected to the manual interface of FortiGate firewall, you're not configuring FortiGate firewall from the same location, same site, you are doing that configuration remotely. Good, makes sense. All right, so now it's reverted back. And uh, if again I go to username admin, password admin, so even you can verify the same from system events as well. And uh, let me quickly show you interface IP, it was like 172.16.1.1, and yes. Same IP now. Reverted, right? Config is not saved. Okay. And uh, if I show you system events, events, system events, put it restarted, right? You can see uh, 50 seconds you go, 50 seconds ago, like put it restarted. Configuration reverted due to timeout. Right, so you can find this information config reverted due to CFG revert timeout reached. All right, so in case if 
like uh, you want to uh, save the configuration whatever configuration uh, you have done right so run the command and within timeout period we have configured one minute time here but you understand in production network minimum 10 or 15 minutes like you should set that right 10 or 15 minutes minimum time but uh, it's up to you like what uh, timeout you want to save you want to set and run the command here execute config save so no config to be saved because we have not done anything right so once you have done the configuration don't forget to run the command execute cfg save before timeout value right so if you have configured 10 minute timeout value so once you have done all the configuration so before uh, hitting that timeout period you must run the command execute save or uh, cfg save config save right so that's all about like uh, rollback or automatic rollback of configuration file in 40 git file